Another four years for Joe Biden means another four years of little Gazas all across America. There's a rot in our universities. There's a rot in the White House and there's a rot in this country. We've got university presidents and university faculty that are, that are just wimps. Businesses across the United States, when they see that little Harvard diploma, UCLA, Columbia, those businesses, maybe they should hang a sign out that says, graduates need not apply. Republicans standing up and speaking out against anti-Semitism taking over colleges and universities. Now on the chopping block, federal funding for schools that have lost control to the mobs. Looking at just some of America's Ivy Leagues, these four schools received nearly $3.4 billion, Ooh. with a B, of taxpayer dollars in the last year. That is big cash. It, let's seriously. <laughs> let's bring in Senator Rick Scott, who is co-sponsoring the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act in the Senate. Senator, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Um, where does this act stand? I mean, I, I, I can only imagine you have a lot of Republican co-signers, but wondering, are you getting Democrats to join you in this effort mm. on this bill? Of course not. Democrats, Dem look at Democrats. They're not going to call out somebody because they're anti-Semitic. They want their vote. I mean, the Democrats have become the anti-Semitic party. I mean, think about this. I remember when we, uh, our first daughter went off to college. What did we think? Well, we'd like her to get a good education, get a job at the end, but guess what we want? We want her to be safe. I've talked to Jewish students around the country. They don't feel safe. I've talked to Jewish parents that have their kids in school. They are worried about the safety of their kids. So we've got it in places like GW, Columbia, UCLA, USC, Northwestern. We've got Jew-hating, terror-supporting, Hamas-supporting people there, and we've got a bunch of wimps that run these universities, or they're either wimps or they're okay with it, right? Because they're not calling it out. They're not getting, they're not getting rid of these kids. They're allowing them, them to do it and scaring the crap out of people just because they're Jewish. So yeah. this has got to stop. One, we shouldn't be giving them money, right? Why would we give them our tax dollars when, when they hate Jews and they hate Israel? Uh, number two, if you're in leadership, what are you doing? Stop. Quit. If you don't want to keep your students safe, quit. I mean, I want my kid to be safe, all right? And then on top of that, if you're a donor, what are you doing? What are you, you're going to give your money to a school that's anti-Israel and anti-Jew and anti-Semitic. No, you're not. You're going to think about it. So these schools, everybody needs to stop giving them money. People need to stop applying there. We've got to hold these places accountable. I, I think you're absolutely right, Senator. Part of it is the private donations, but part of it is the federal funding. And thank you so much for shining a light on that. But I want to get to this topic as well, because the administration is actually considering accepting Palestinian refugees from Gaza, with the State Department telling Fox News' Jillian Turner that it's not a new program, but rather an extension of their policy. The timing seems, I mean, just crazy to some people, given what we've seen the past few days and what happened last night at Columbia University. Well, it's an extension of the Biden completely open border policy. Yeah. He's bringing people in this country from all over the world, completely unvetted. We don't know where they're going. We know we're terrorists, criminals, narco traffickers. We have all these horrible people coming in here and they're, and they're, they're creating all this crime. And guess what? In this so-called Israel bill, which is, should be called a pro-Hamas supplemental bill, because that's what it was, had money for Gazans, which support Hamas, money that will clearly go to Hamas, we ha we're going to have open up a refugee uh, recruitment center, basically, in Qatar. I mean, what are we thinking? Seventy percent of Gazans, you know, support Hamas. Hamas are baby beheaders. They, they rape young girls. They, they burn people alive. They shoot people at point blank. They hate Jews. And Biden went, and the Democrats want to bring them into our country? Mm. I don't want them in my backyard. I don't want them in my state, my cities, my country. I want my family to be safe, your family to be safe. This is not making us more safe. It's not. And they say they vet people at the border, which they do right. not. They're not going to vet people coming from Palestine. This is a disaster of a policy. Senator Rick Scott, keep up the great effort, and we appreciate you joining us on the bottom line. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.